Hey, it's Richard with Presonus, and this is our fifth and final video in our in-depth earmix routing series. Now that we've hooked up our entire system, routed all AVB streams, configured our submixes, and digitally patched all of our AVB channels, we're ready to finish setting up each individual earmix unit. So let's do that now. Here we have our drummer's unit. The channels are kick, snare, hat, tom 123, overhead left and right, bass, guitars all on channel 10, stereo keyboards, vocals on channel 13, click, and then our stereo tracks lines. Now we will set up our stereo channels, but first, a quick note about stereo channels. Just as it is with our mixers, stereo channels must be linked in odd even format and not the other way around. In other words, to have a stereo pair, they need to be set up as something like three and four and not four and five. The first stereo pair we can create is our overheads. Hitting channel 7's button, I can then push the link button, and now 7 and 8 are a stereo pair. I'll do the same for 11 and 12 for my keyboards, and also 15 and 16 for my stereo tracks line. Next up is the bass player's ear mix unit. Kick is on 1 and snare is on 2. The rest of the drum set is on 3 and 4, so I'll link those. Then we have bass on 5 and then click. We'll link our tracks lines that are on seven and eight. Then we have our three guitars, followed by our three vocals, and then finally our stereo keyboards on 15 and 16, and I'll link those. Now the keyboard players unit. Channels one and two are the stereo kit, so I'll link those. Three is bass, then click. Five and six will be linked because they are our stereo tracks lines. Seven is our guitar submix, and eight, nine, and 10 are our three vocals. The last six are our three stereo keyboards, so I'll link them as 11 and 12, 13 and 14, and 15 and 16. Finally, let's look at our guitars. I'll do just this one because it will be the same way for all three. The first two channels will get linked as our stereo drum set. Three is bass, four is click, five and six will link as our stereo tracks, and seven and eight will be our stereo keyboard submix. 9, 10, and 11 are our three vocal mics, and 12 and 13 are the two electrics, and 14 is our acoustic guitar. Remember that we didn't need 15 and 16, so we'll select each one and turn down their respective channel volumes. Now let's take a look at some of the other cool features of the Earmix 16M. We have a three-band EQ on every channel with sweepable mids, and also a limiter, pan, and volume. We can solo and mute any channel as well. Now let's look at the master section. We have an additional three band EQ with mid sweep, limiter, and master volume. We also have a stereo eighth inch local aux input, a balanced stereo line out, and a separate volume control for headphones. We can also store and recall scenes and create channel groups. As you can see, Earmix is not only an incredibly flexible and powerful system, but the entire Studio Live Series 3 ecosystem shines on so many levels, featuring the greatest amount of routing, patching, controlling, and monitoring in its class, our price class is three times that of ours. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and thanks for using our products. See you next time.